Hi, I'm Julie Flygar, and I'm the founder of Project Sleep, a narcolepsy spokesperson and the author of Wide Awake and Dreaming, a memoir of narcolepsy. I'm so honored to be nominated for a Rare Voice Award among such incredible community leaders and rare disease advocates. Thank you so much to the Rare Disease Legislative Advocates for this honor and for letting me share a bit of my story with you today. I was diagnosed with narcolepsy with cataplexy at age 24 as a law student. I honestly thought my future was shattered. While in law school, I watched symptoms and treatments just take over my life, and it really was a nightmare. But inspired by my personal experience, I started studying health law and FDA law, and became totally passionate about the importance of rare disease drug development. After graduating from law school, I moved to Washington, D.C. to start writing a memoir of narcolepsy and begin raising awareness on Capitol Hill. Once I started speaking out about narcolepsy, I couldn't stop. I caught the advocacy bug, the best disease I've ever got. I went on to publish my memoir and raise awareness at NIH and started many programs, including a five-hour educational program now taught to all Harvard Medical students. It's been the journey of a lifetime to raise awareness about narcolepsy. After I published my memoir, I received emails from people all over the world saying that when they read my book for the first time, they didn't feel alone with narcolepsy. I thought this was strange because I heard from so many people saying the exact same thing, that I knew they weren't alone. Well, in July of 2013, I decided to launch the Narcolepsy Not Alone campaign, holding a sign saying, I'm a person with narcolepsy and I'm not alone, and asking others to do the same. I didn't know if anyone would respond, but in over a year, we've had 1,100 photos from all 50 U.S. states and 41 countries around the world. This visual imagery shows that while narcolepsy is considered a rare disease, it's truly everywhere, it matters, and we are not alone. A few years ago, I was so thrilled to learn that the FDA would launch their patient-focused drug development initiative and that narcolepsy will be considered for this program in which the FDA would talk firsthand to patients to learn about their experience living with disorders. Living in DC, I drove to the FDA campus. In that meeting, there were some of the most incredible health policy leaders and rare disease advocates, and I quickly realized this program was important. So I made sure to attend every single meeting and launched a community campaign to get the community involved and hopefully get narcolepsy into the program. Narcolepsy was chosen as one of the 20 diseases for the patient-focused drug development initiative, and I worked with a coalition of community members to prepare the community. I know the FDA was a little concerned about our meeting because it was the first rare disease to go through the program. I wasn't concerned at all. As I like to say, we may be rare, but we've got roar. The narcolepsy community got involved. We had over 100 people in attendance in the in-person meeting and over 500 people via webcast. We had an incredible experience with the FDA and actually discovered clinical endpoints that matter to patients that are not being addressed yet by any treatments. I am proud to be a part of this initiative and bring the narcolepsy voice to Washington, D.C.